Vegetarian. I am your host, Karen Buchholz. Today, we are going to make cheese stuffed bacon wrapped dates. I had this dish at a vegetarian restaurant and it was just phenomenal. I had to come home and recreate it myself. Let's get baking. The problem is figuring out which dates you want because there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of different types of dates. Today, I'm using Medjool dates. That's M E D J O O L. Like I said, there are lots of different varieties. Choose whichever ones you wish. The first thing we're going to do is slice the dates in half because through making this many a times, I have found that a full date is too much for most people. And we'll just cut our dates all in half first before we stuff them with the cheese. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to use the cheese. This is a luscious, viney gorgonzola cheese. Now you can use whatever cheese you want. I've made it with Swiss, I've made it with extra sharp cheddar, I've made it with even putting some ricotta cheese or mozzarella cheese in there. And all I'm doing is stuffing the cheese where the pits used to be. So we're just gonna go through and stuff all of them. And like I said, just about any cheese works really well, um, especially if you're a cheese fiend like myself. This obviously is not a vegan. All right, now that our dates are all stuffed, let's get wrapping. Yes, they did try to make it look like bacon, but it is bacon. I like the Morningstar brand the best. I think it tastes the best. It's salty. Even my nieces like it, and they like the real stuff. Sometimes it's helpful to stick a toothpick in it so it stays wrapped. If you have enough bacon left over, you don't need to use the toothpick. I try to get two dates per bacon slice. This one doesn't quite fit, so I'm going to find a smaller one. And we're gonna find a smaller one. And we're gonna manipulate it. And we're gonna stick it with the toothpick. Our last stuffed date. It even smells like bacon. They must use liquid smoke. We're now gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes. And they don't look quite done yet, almost. The ones in the back look like they're a little bit more done. So I'm going to rotate the pan as well as flip them. We're going to go back and we're going to cook it for about another three minutes. Three minutes has passed. Let's take a look. And they are done. They are crispy. They smell like bacon. And I think it kind of tastes like bacon. A real bacon eater would not agree. Pick one up. Creamy, it's crunchy, it's sweet, it's even a little bit smoky and salty. These cheese stuffed bacon wrapped dates are amazing. That's vegetarian. 